Good morning, good afternoon. Raquel Redman from Barva Art Press presenting uh, a video on painting. This is called mixed media painting. Involves paint and also some pastels. This painting uh, project is about autumn, the colors of autumn. What's happened in autumn? We probably dress different, we um, eat different foods, uh, colors change, like the leaves on the trees. Uh, we have pumpkin soups, probably. We have lots of roast meals. So because everything is changing, the temperature is changing, the trees, the environment is changing, and also um, the leaves all change colors. So I call this project the colors of autumn. I know that it's autumn here in Australia at the moment, but um, it could be, if you are on the other side of the world, it could be the colors of summer. We have done the colors of summer using, instead of pumpkins and onions and uh, sweet potatoes and carrots that we have here in our composition. Um, it could be watermelons or some fruit that you normally eat during summer months, anything. For this project, we have these pumpkins and different things, cabbages, uh, the colors of autumn. But also, uh, thinking about autumn, remember that you can find autumn on the ground because there's a lot of fall, things that fall on the ground, uh, like leaves, seed pods, twigs. So it could be, instead of having a composition, this is a group of um, different uh, vegetables, and um, it's called a composition. You can have um, a group of uh, seed pods, leaves, or twigs, anything that you find on the ground or you buy in the supermarket, like in this case. Here I have some samples of uh, paintings done by young children uh, with the colors here. Mainly uh, we have yellows, we have oranges, we have darkish greens, we have um, pinks combined with black lovely green, so uh, they are the colors that I, we are going to actually mix. There's another one here, uh, brighter colors, uh, brighter pinks and reds and blues. So this is what are we going to, to do today. We are going to think of autumn and think of the colors of autumn. To do this painting, uh, apart from the fruit or vegetables that you will put up, your teachers or mama or dad will set up a composition like that, or you can do it yourself. I have worked with groups of children and they love to do this. They have done their composition. So if you do it anyway, if you are in a group where you, there's a view this side, there's a front view, if you are sitting like me, there's a view on the other side, and also there's a view on the back if you are sitting on the other side of the table. To do this project, we need just a few things. We need a piece of paper like this, a A3 cartridge paper, or it could be any white paper that you can find around the classroom or uh, at home. We need paint. Uh, we have the uh, primary colors here, six primary colors plus black and white. Uh, every color has a bottle pop stick, so when we mix color, when we pick up the colors to mix on our mixing paper, which is just another piece of paper, a small piece of paper here. Uh, the colors are going to uh, stay nice and clean. The painting, the paint that we are using today is our favorite paint called Chroma 2. It's really good for all kinds of projects. We also have a tin here with water and a paintbrush. Your paintbrush, in this case, can be short like this, or it could be a long paintbrush like that. We also need a few pastels, any pastels, in little pastels like this. I got little bits and pieces of pastels. And every student will need a color just to do the preliminary drawing, the drawing that you are going to start with. We also need um, a rag because obviously we are painting. And we need hairspray to spray the, uh, the drawings at the end because we start with painting and then we draw on the top. Now it's time to start drawing. How do we draw this? 
uh, how do we roll, all of these things that we have there. So we have, I think I'll st start here because I like to use the paper here. The, the paper is my space. I have this space to um, do my drawings. So I'll draw, I'll start with the big pumpkin here. Obviously you can see that and it got a shape like that. And I'm going to make mistakes, it doesn't matter. By the way, I have one color chalk. You don't need at this point more colors, you just need one color. So I'll go down there, but I'll, I'll stop right here because I'll, I'll put the, that, that shape that makes the onion in there. So it's going to overlap, that's producing the overlap in here with the onion there. And very lightly, very lightly, drawing very lightly, your hands should be very floppy. Now, I'll look at the right here. So we started on the middle. We went to the onion. Now we are going to look at the right here. There is uh, another um, shape there, which is about here. So we go on the top. We draw the tops, a nibbly, an obi top there. And it comes out this way. It doesn't have to be exactly, it has to be it does it, you can make mistake, that's no problem. I made a mistake there, I'm not worried. Then I'll go back, I'll, I'll look what is on the back. So there is a shape that comes about there and comes around there and goes like that. And is, I'm just going to draw a few lines here just to remind myself that I, I'll, I'll have some lines there. So from here, I'll move this way. So this way is the, ca the other piece of cabbage and also there is a pumpkin on the back. I'll start with a piece of cabbage like that. But before I start, I'll draw the center of that cabbage so I know where it is. It's like a nearly, nearly um, a, a, the shape of a heart like that. So you see the, the cabbage here, the leaf, goes like that, going there, overlapping that way, coming that way, and around here. And that's the leaf there. And I'll go down here and I'll find the carrot. So that is the carrot here, going that way, nearly touching the, the, the other object here, which is the um, onion, but it doesn't matter. It's just, this is just to have an idea what is there. You don't have to do it exactly. And the knobby there for the carrot. And I'll look on the back there because I got to that point here. I look on the back and that is the other, the other pumpkin there. So it's like a, that, that shape and comes there and about there. So more lines and I have a big shape here that is probably going to go out of the um, the page the sweet potato and that's it we have a um, bit more details here for the cabbage just to remind me that I got to put those things on when but you will have it in front of you all the time now if you look at the edge there's a line there that makes the edge of the table. So you can have that line if you like. And like other students did in those paintings that I show you, you can have the table coming out that way. And a bit of lines here for the, for the cabbage, you, the, the carrot. You don't need to do a lot, a lot of details at the moment because the details you are going to draw with the, um, the pastels. So that's done. I like to point out that the drawing, as you can see, goes from top to bottom, from side to side. So it's a big drawing of the group of uh, vegetables. And I started mixing already some colors. The cabbage there is very dark, so I use this red, so a bit of red here like that, with the paddle pop stick, so your colors keep nice and clear, clean, and the black over there. So I mixed that cool red with the um, black and it gave me this very nice very dark color here for that cabbage like that since i have mixed this color i think i'll, I'll uh, go into the next cabbage 
but I like to mix that with a bit of uh, more blue. So I'll make it a bit different. Probably a bit of white, just to change the color. You see how the color changes by just using the same base color that I used to paint the dark, dark color. Now it's changing into this uh, nice sort of purpley color. So that will go here. I think I need m more white there. So we go that way. Just moving the paintbrush like that. I'm, what I'm doing here, and I'm applying the large areas of colors. So my first step is actually mix, mixing and applying the colors that, like that. Moving your paintbrush. I'm leaving this white there because we need that bit of white there. Something very simple like that. Now I'll wash my paintbrush. And I use just this pure blue here to do that bit there. So I have established those two dark areas. But then I have a similar color, which is the color of the onion. So I'm, I'll use the same color, the same base there, to mix a color for the onions. So the onions will be more reddish, as you can see there. Got a bit of more red there. I'm applying the onion colors like that. So with a bit of black here, a bit on the knob there. And then I'll go to that area where the other pumpkin is. So we got that nice sort of yellow, yellowy green. Now I'm painting the carrots here, like that. So that is my base color for the carrot. And I, I like to change that, probably add a bit of this and a bit of that. You see, I just went back to that dark color and I'm changing the color of the carrot there just to have a bit of different colors. But I'll, I'll go back to the carrot with um, when we do the, um, the details. Yeah, this is the color of the sweet potato here. But um, as you were able to see when I show you the paintings before done by students, uh, some of them painted uh, in bright yellow or bright um, pink. So it's up to you. Uh, the, but think the most important thing is for you to think of the colors of autumn. And that, I think, will give us the end of this part, which is practically just uh, dealing with the um, basic colors. Now we have established our colors. Here we have a painting that uh, has been finished. Just the paint application has been finished. It's nice and dry. So it's time now to apply the pastels. But before we start applying the pastels on the actual painting, it's good to have some painted bits in a small piece of paper to practice. So I'll practice there. We have different colors here. And the idea is that you always get a color, the, a pastel, that is going to be different. So you can see the application, like this, this red one here. And you apply in this way, in a sort of a scribbly way. So you can see the color underneath. There we have uh, this blue here. And contrasting means uh, different, a very different color here on the, on the top, a bit of um, outline. And here on the other side, you can use, no, do you see this is not a very, uh, could be a good contrast, but probably this will be better, a darker color against that. Applications in a very sort of a, a loose way, so the color underneath always um, comes through. Now that we have finished our practicing bit of um, paint and crayon or pastels, you can use crayons if you have crayons, we are going to turn that paper over and we are going to use the paper to, um, to test some colors. If you don't know exactly the colors there, you can test. And we're going to start applying the actual pastels here. 
on the on the um, dif different. You see how this comes through very very strong. So we are pl uh, practically applying now the pastels over the um, the paint the painted areas. And this paint chroma two has a beautiful texture. It has what is called tooth. So it allows the pastel to work really well because it holds the pastels pretty well. So we get um, a bit more here, just there. Bit of outline with different colors. And a nice color there for this onion. Look at how beautiful that is. The contrasting color, that means different for the onion. And we go now into the um, cabbage. So the cabbage will have a different colors. Um, it's sort of very, very loose there because the cabbage is all curly and got lots of lines as we saw already. So that is the beautiful blue against the other blue. And for the, for the here, for the inside of the cabbage, we are going to do a bit of um, just a scribble, a little bit of yellow. And there's a, a nice color here for this areas here. And that's practically what we can do with the cabbage, is in a scribbly way, creating textures like that. And then we will move on to the other um, objects. We're ready to start on the background now, but before I'll go back to the cabbage and do just a little bit of highlight with this bright yellow there. A bit of this and a bit of that here and there, just to make it nice and bright, a bit under there, on the blue. Okay, so from here, the next thing to do is the background. So we have the background colors, and we are going to apply in a very loose way, allowing that blue underneath there to show through. To we are not covering the whole area. We are just scribbling the color on to create those textures like that. And a bit of there on the other side, just to create a bit of texture. Uh, if you feel like, if you are in, in grade three, four, six, you want to um, do other areas that are darker, with a, diff a, a darker blue, you can do that. This is very easy. It's good for everybody. Everybody can do this. It's an, an easy way to, to create these textures. And a beautiful contrast here. Contrast means that it's different between the, 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 the warm colors and the cool colors of the background. And there we go to this color up here. And probably if we apply in this, again in a scribbly way, like that, going very loose, very loose, to make this picture very, very interesting. And a bit of here on the black for that. And I think it's done, but pretty much with a bit of a darken there, around there. And probably a bit of highlight here for the light. This is only if you are um, in grade six, seven, and you like to do some representation of light and about there. And it's pretty much ready. Now we have this um, ready, this uh, mixed media painting that is paint and um, pastels. It could be all crayons if you don't have pastels in the classroom or at home. So this is a time now to spray, but the spray should be done outside because spraying um, things is not good for some children. I got here a hairspray, I use hairspray, uh, but also um, your teacher or your mom can use fixative. I prefer hairspray because it's, it's, um, it's not as bad as fixative. So this is how I spray from this distance, from about 20 to 30 centimeters like that, and you will see that the color is changing because it's wet, but it will come back when it's dry. This is the end of our project on um, 
mixed media painting, we used uh, a setup like this, a composition, uh, and we thought of the colors of autumn. If you enjoy this project, and let me remind you that this is a project that can be done with the, from young children to adults. Everybody can enjoy doing this technique. If you enjoy this project, please visit www.bravaartpress.com or find our videos on YouTube. Thank you.